Oh, my villager. This game is so unserious. <laughs> the island game for this island. <laughs> Welcome back, or welcome to Living with Leah. So today, as you can see from the title of this video, we are playing our first game. I told you guys it was coming. If you haven't checked out my Vlogmas announcement, you can see it right here in the card. So the secret's out. I am finally doing gaming on this channel. And the first game we are gonna be playing is Animal Crossing. I've been playing Animal Crossing since the beginning of 2021. I got it for Christmas in 2020 and, or I got my Switch for Christmas in 2020 and then I brought Animal Crossing and it was one of the best things I've ever done in my life. It's one of my all time favorite games, even though sometimes I'll put it down and not play it for months. But when I do play it, I, I really play it. Today we are restarting my island. My original island was Honey Pot, which was an all bear island. It was gonna be forest core slash town core, but then I got bored of it and decided why not restart? To help motivate me in finishing the new island, I decided to do it for you guys on YouTube. So if you guys like this video, please like and subscribe to see more from me because this will be the first in my Animal Crossing Let's Play series. So without further ado, I'm going to pass it over to me a couple days ago who was actually playing the game and I will talk to you guys a little bit later and stay tuned till the end where I announce the name and the theme of my new island. See you guys later. Bye. We are going to be restarting my island. Yep. So currently what you see in the background is my island of Honeypot, so bear with me. Isabel, good morning everyone. Right now on Honeypot, it's 11.01 a.m. on Friday, November 25th, 2022. Yes, it's a year behind because I time travel a lot and play the game day to day. Like I'll play for like a weekend in a row and then I'll come back and be like, oh yeah. Let me play Animal Crossing and then I'll ditch it for like three months. Like I haven't been on here in forever. So when I talk to all my villagers, they're gonna be like, wow, Leah, we haven't seen you in forever. And I'm gonna be like, yeah, pretty much. So let's get into it. Let's talk to all my villagers. Literally? <laughs> this game is so unserious. <laughs> Olive wanting to leave when I'm literally restarting the island is actually so disrespectful. Anyway, so my baby Poncho, he's like, huh? It's Kalia. How are you doing? We haven't caught up lately, little bear. I saw you around the other day. You had quite a spring in your step. Have you been skipping leg day? Shut up, Poncho. I love Poncho. He was one of my dreamies till I got Poncho. Look at Marshall. He's wearing my design. Also, this dress I'm wearing right here. Mm -hmm. This is my code. I created this because I don't like the ugly codes that they hang up in Able Sisters, so I created my own codes. I'll go and show you guys that. Marshall said, sorry, I'm on my break, of course, because he sat down. Oh, Label's here. I'm not gonna talk to her. So, this is one of the builds I did. This is my entrance. I don't really know what kind of vibes I was going for. I was just kind of putting stuff down, but this is a train station that I never finished. <laughs> you guys noticing a pattern here? I have a problem with finishing things. Anyway, yeah, so there's like a little pond. I just thought this was kind of a cool hangout area. Yep, but here's the entrance, Blue Airport. Yes, we love it. And then there's nods to it being honey pot. There's a honey pot here. We've got the big bear here, cause it's a bear island. And then over here was just like some pretty cliffs that you can see over there. This is not where the village neighborhood is. I just never moved Poncho's house. I'm pretty sure I have it in my pockets. Yep. <laughs> I'm terrible. I never even moved my baby's house. Yeah, but this is the entrance to my island. And you see, like, I even had the truck with the bear on it. Everything was supposed to be bear themed. And then the only other build that's on this island that I, once again, did not finish, this was going to be the marketplace where there was like 
a stall for honey, a stall for clothes, other, you know, like marketplace stalls that you would see running down the street. So that's what this was gonna be. I never finished. These were the only two builds I did. So let's take our shortcut to the villager neighborhood, even though it actually might be faster to run there. I'm gonna be sad to see this island go. Doesn't really matter. So here's my house. Yeah. And let's see, here's Marty. I have all of the Sanrio amiibos, including Marty's, of course, and he's a bear, so I added him to my island. Olive, I'm gonna deal with you in a second, cause you're being ridiculous. Let's see, Cleo, what's up? I feel like I haven't had any FaceTime with you lately. I didn't scare you or anything, right? I know it can be a bit much sometimes, you heard? Yeah, Timmy was an autofill, but she was a sisterly bear, so I decided to keep her, but she's not my favorite villager in the world. She wants to move. So I'm gonna talk to her last and tell her not to leave and then delete her. <laughs> but you guys don't know how over my island I am. After I saw this, after I saw freaking Flo auto-filled on my island, I have nothing against Flo, but it was supposed to be an all bear island and now like there's a freaking penguin on my island. Y'all, I was pissed when I came back and saw this. I was so mad. Love you to drop in, child. My digs aren't fancy, but you can stay as long as you want. Girl, bye. I don't want to talk to you. Let's talk to Grizz. No, this is Ike. I had Grizzly on my island and he asked to move, so I let him because Ike has like a yellow print across his face, which gave me honey pop vibes. And I didn't want more than one grumpy on my island. So I let Grizzly go and then I went on a villager hunt to find Ike and I found him pretty fast, actually. All right, here's Pinky, another autofill that I just decided to keep because she was a bear. Her house looks a mess. I've been seeing you around. Have you been avoiding me? Yeah, sure. You goof. See, like they be pissing me off saying stuff like that. I'm not a goof. Watch your mouth. What am I missing? Oh yeah, here's my island layout. I talked to Marty, I talked to Pinky, Poncho, Ike. Oh, Maple, I gotta go find Maple. I talked to everybody else though. Okay, let's go find Maple and then we'll Go see why Olive wants to leave. Maple's not home. Bruh, Maple, where you at? I'm not gonna hunt you down. A few moments later. Look, he's singing a farewell song. <coughs> he's singing for me. He's literally singing to me. <laughs> I love you too, Marshall. Hey guys, Editor Kalia here again. So what you see me doing here in this next clip for like the next five minutes, I was running around searching for Maple and eventually I came to the conclusion that I wasn't gonna find her and I'm gonna be looking for her for my next island anyway so I wasn't too pressed and I just ended up giving up and going to look for Olive to talk to her. So enjoy. All right, Olive. Kalia, how long have you been here? Guess I was sort of spaced out. I've been daydreaming lately about starting a new life on another island. That's actually so rude. It's not that I'm unhappy here or anything. I think I just want to try something new. I think if I want to keep growing as a bear cub, I need to explore new places and make new friends. That's too bad, because you have to stay. Since you don't want me to leave, I think maybe I'll stick around here after all, sweet pea. She seems so reluctant about it. She didn't actually want to stay. I made her feel bad. I guilted her into it. Oh well. You're getting deleted anyway. Maybe I should have let her leave. Nah. Okay, you guys see my designs? I made all of these. Aren't they so pretty? And see, I tried to make a bee on this, on the hat. It doesn't really look like one, but I'm not a pixel designer, so whatever, suck it up. No, they do Black Friday on here too. I didn't know that. That is so fun. Anyway, this was Honey Pot with all my villagers. And now it's time to say goodbye. <laughs> okay. It's time to say goodbye. So long, farewell. I'll always love you, honey pie. My old friend. Nope. Mm -hmm. I didn't do it.
Okay, take, take two. two. Delete. Successfully deleted save data. All my babies are gone. Okay, guys. So now that we've said goodbye to Honeypot, we're going to say hello to a new island. What we're going to be doing next is we're going to be going through the beginning of the game, which is basically putting in your name and your birthday. You talk to Timmy and Tommy, and then they give you four options for islands to choose from. And if I end up not liking it, then I'll just close out the game and do the whole process over again. And I'm going to do this process as many times as I need to until I find the exact island I want. And how am I deciding between the four options of islands? Well, I have a handy dandy list of criteria. Now there's really only one thing on this list that is mandatory. Like I have to have it for the new island. Everything else is more iffy slash optional. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you the list and that will help you understand what I'm looking for when I'm trying to pick my island. So number one, the most important thing to me for my island that has to be in the map layout for my new island is the biggest peninsula. So the peninsula is like the stretch of land that hangs off of the island, kind of like the docks that we have. I will put a map in here so that you guys can see kind of what I'm talking about. But I want the island that has the biggest peninsula because the biggest peninsula allows you to put a villager house on it. So my second criteria is cute starters. And by cute, I just mean villagers that I find appealing. This one is totally optional because you can kick off any villagers you want and add new ones by using an amiibo, villager hunting, all those things. So it's really not that big of a deal. Number three is the fruit. I would prefer for my fruit to be apples or oranges. Those have become my favorite fruits. I do not mind having any of the fruits, but I would prefer apples or oranges. The other fruits you can have are peaches, cherries, or pears. Criteria number four is no double river mouth. Again, I'll put in a picture of what I'm talking about. Basically, it's when both, it's when like the river mouths create a circle around resident services. And so the rivers are blocking both sides of the front of the island. I don't want that because it cuts off my beaches on both sides. And I really hate when it does that. I just, I do not like the double river mouse. So if I see that, I'm not taking the island, even if it has the biggest peninsula. And then my last criteria is that the resident services, that is the only building you cannot move on your whole island. I want resident services to be far from the airport so that I don't have to do a bunch of fancy terraforming when you first get off the airport to make it look like resident services is far away. I just want it to be far away so that I can do whatever I want with my entrance without you having to see the big looming ugliness of resident services. So that is my criteria for my islands and how I'm gonna be deciding. Okay, I'll see you guys at the end. Remember, stay tuned because I will be announcing the island name and island theme in this video. Uh, let's just get into it. Yes, my name is Leah. My birthday is February 3rd. Isn't it such a good birthday? Two, three. <laughs> Leah, Leah, let's see. Oh yes, here you are. Our next step will be to take a picture of you, Leah. Oh, don't worry, take as much time as you need to get yourself looking just the way you want. Let's see what outfit I get. I usually get a really ugly outfit to start. I'm a girl. It'll change later. All right, let's see what we got. Hey. Wait, that might be, that might be the one. Okay, I don't think this is the biggest one, but let's just go for fun. Like, I have no basic life skills. Like, I'd probably go and try and gather like some leaves to eat and I'd find the poisonous ones and die. If you guys were wondering about the context of this topic, I was talking about how I wouldn't survive on a deserted island. So yeah. And that's just the reality of the situation. Oh, let's watch the thing.
Yay! Here we go. There's no fruit. I didn't get a fruit. <laughs> oh, it's pears. Pears are okay. I don't hate pears. Okay, I got grizzly and I don't know what the kangaroo's name is. I've seen her multiple times though. I don't really like any of the kangaroo villagers. That's not grizzly, that's Teddy! Love Teddy. Sylvia, these are actually pretty good villagers for like my first ones. A house definitely can't fit on this. All right, well, that's the end of that. All right, on to island number two. Try number two. This is especially a bird. That's like disrespectful. You didn't need that one. Anyway, this is a dud. All right, here's our fourth. Set. Oh, no way! Is that it? Hey guys, Editor Kalia here again. So I basically spent the next like 10 minutes trying to figure out if this was the map I was looking for. And it was indeed a map with the biggest peninsula. So that's what you see me kind of looking up and being astonished here. So ultimately I decided to go visit this island and that's where we're gonna cut to next. So keep on enjoying the video. Whoa, no. First of all, the airport is orange. I strongly dislike orange. And it's freaking Frida and that ugly mouse. He's a rat. He's not even a mouse. He's a rat. What is his name? Mustache? Moose. Ain't no way, Moose. And Frida, I don't. Actually, Frida goes along with my island thing. <gasps> oh, and it's apples. Okay, guys. You know what? This might be it. Oh, see, I hate this. I hate this. On both sides. Cut off the beaches. I don't know. I feel like better, it, it could be better. Frida goes along with what my new island theme is gonna be. You guys can probably guess what it is now. If you think you know what my new island theme is based off what Frida looks like, let me know in the comments down below. I don't know what to do. Hey Siri, pick a number between one and two. The answer is two. One was yes, two was no. Starting over. Because every time that'd be nice too. Number five. Let's see what we got. Ah, oh, they give it to me again. Nah, it's a dud. Okay. Redo six. Hey! That's it. This is it. It's still kind of close, but it's not as close as the last one was to resident services, and it's a little off. That might be okay. Let's let's look at it. Let's check it out. Oh, it's oranges! Oh, this is a good sign. This, this is a great sign. I'm scared. <gasps> okay. No. Okay, well, the airport's green. I do like that. But who is that girl? That's not Faith. The boy is Bill. The jock is Bill. What is homegirl's name? I knew it. Canberra. Oh, I can't stand her. I know who Bill is though. That is Bill, right? Let me see. Let me talk to you real quick. Yeah, it is Bill. Bill is adorable. I love Bill. Oh, I'm not mad about Bill. Peninsula is here. Oh yeah. Definitely big enough for a house. Ah, I can't believe we found it. Okay. Guys, I think we might've found it. Only took six tries? I've had way less criteria than this before and it took way more than six tries to get it. Okay, guys, this, this is it. It only took me an hour. Yes! It took me actually less than an hour because I spent like the first 15 minutes talking about the island. Ah, I'm excited. 
did. Not about Kimbara. I'm so annoyed. But Bill is cute, so I got half of what I wanted. Hey guys, so I wanted to skip through this part of the video because it's pretty boring. But basically Tom Nook just gives me and the two villagers our tents and we're supposed to go around the island and put our tents down. You see me in this clip run over to the peninsula to make sure that the tent takes up the full space of the peninsula and isn't like too big for it because if it was then I was gonna restart. <laughs> I wanted to ensure that I had actually found the biggest peninsula and I did so I didn't have to restart. And then I go and I place all of the tents on the beach because when you start doing your actual builds on the island it's easier if you have all your buildings on the beaches because then you don't have to spend your bells which are the in-game currency on trying to move those houses to wherever the next place is you just leave them on the beaches and then when you're ready to do your villager neighborhood or to place those buildings you can just move them right over to the spot you want them on your island so yeah, that's all I was doing in this clip and in the next one we will be naming the island and I will be announcing the island theme. So stay tuned. Night time. Now is that everything? Yes, yes, I believe it is. Let's get started with the festivities. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Hey! I sense a great opportunity. As the residents of this island, we should be the ones to name it. And in the spirit of democracy, we should put it to a vote. Majority rules, hmm? So take a little time to think, and when everyone is ready, I'll present your ideas. There are a lot of villagers who are themed after food or something like that. So, which you guys probably figured out based off of my reaction to Frida, this island is going to be food themed it's definitely going to be kind of city core vibes but every single villager has to be some type of food which is why i said maple was going to be on this island because even though she's a bear cub her name is maple that is a food there's like the duck ketchup her name, she looks like a tomato as well, but her name is Ketchup. So there are a list of villagers that I will be looking for for this island, but we will come to that later. But yes, that is my island theme. So the name needs to be centered kind of around that. I feel like Be Our Guest is the best name. Welcome to Be Our Guest. Let's just go for it. Let's go with Be Our Guest. Is everyone ready? Let's try saying our ideas at the same time. Ready? Go. The Tarboro, Buffburg, Bellevue. That's that's definitely interesting. Hey guys, voiceover Leah again. So basically at this point in the game, everybody decides to go with my island name, which is Be Our Guest. Tom Nook decides to take it upon himself to nominate me as the resident representative with no input from myself and I can't put up a fight either. I just have to take it and accept it. I give some nice words about the beginning of our island and then we all get some orange juice and we cheers and drink the refreshing orange juice. And then I tell Tom Nook that I'm tired so he gives me a camping cot and I can return to my tent to sleep for the night. I run back home to my tent and there are some packages waiting for me to unpack. It includes a lamp and a radio and then I set up my camping cot. I have a little trouble with the camping cot because I think I'm a little weak. But I eventually figure it out and I fall asleep. And in my dreams I am visited by KK the dog who is the musician in Animal Crossing and part of one of our goals but that'll come later. He tells me that the world is new and there's so many things for me to explore but that I should find friends along the way. And that's exactly what I'm doing by sharing this journey with you guys on YouTube. So after I talk with KK he tells me that my game will now be synced up with real time and then I am awoken by a strange voice. Are you in there? Oh, I hope I haven't woken you abruptly. Like you yelled into my tent. Let me go talk to him so I can save. I have a few more things that you might find useful as you adjust to our life in our little paradise. First, you'll need one of these, yes? A phone! It's your very own Nook phone. I had these made especially for island residents. Bro, him handing me the bill is out of pocket. He gave me a phone and then he was like, I have something else for you. Well, I'm thinking I'm finna get like a key to a car or something. No, he hands me my itemized bill. He's out of pocket. 
Yeah, so basically the Crooked Tom Nook tells me that the currency they use on the island is bells. But since I don't have any bells, he decides to sign me up for this Nook Miles program so that I can pay my tab back in miles instead of bells because I can't earn bells yet, but I can earn miles. And he acts like this is some amazing alternative because miles are so much easier to earn than bells. But like, sir, you still gave me a bill anyway. And then he happily decides to excuse himself because he has other matters to tend to other than putting me in debt so that's where we are right now but let me heartily congratulate you once again on your arrival i'm so happy to have you as a resident of be our guest and a client of nook incorporated my new life is underway i can do whatever i want Woo-hoo. that was a doozy wasn't it we had to say goodbye to honey pot we restarted my island only six times. So most of my criteria was checked off of my list. Biggest Peninsula, cute starters. At least one of my starters was cute because I got Bill. Three apples or oranges. I got oranges. Four was no double river mouth. There's no double river mouth. And then five was that resident services is far from the airport and it's relatively far. I also had a six criteria that I didn't mention, which was the color of the airport. And so I would prefer for my airport to be blue or green. And I got the green airport. So everything literally worked out for me on the sixth try. I'm still blue that I only had to reset six times. I'm really excited to see where we're going to go. And I hope you guys will continue on this journey through Be Our Guest With Me, my food themed Animal Crossing Island. Do you guys like the theme? I think everything being themed after food is going to be really cool and I can really do some cool builds and pull lots of inspiration for this island. It's something I've been thinking about for a long time and just haven't executed but now here we are and you know I just hope that you will continue to be my guest on my channel and help me out with my island. So if you guys enjoyed this video once again please give it a like so that I know you guys are enjoying this and want to see more Animal Crossing content from me and if you haven't already please go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can see every single time I post whether that's Animal Crossing or my vlogs doesn't really matter. I feel like you should just want to see more Leah. And if you don't, why are you still here? <laughs> you know, I don't mind. It's giving me views anyway, you know. Get my watch time up. Anyway, that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so, so much for watching this video once again. And I'll see you in the next one on Wednesday. As always, please keep on living with Leah.